Hospitals in Medford are continuing to see a surge in flu cases, more COVID-19 hospitalizations, and people with RSV. Asante, like many other hospitals around the state, are trying to find ways to care for people when bed capacity is high. We are essentially running, almost running a medical floor outside of our emergency department on top of trying to treat uh, emergency room patients and traumas as well. Heather Hicks is a healthcare worker at Asante Rug Regional Medical Center and is also a member of the Oregon Nurses Association. She says some patients have had to wait hours in ambulances to get checked in. They've even had to house people on gurneys in the hallways. She's also raising concerns over staffing because she believes the hospital is currently understaffed and the influx of patients is making the situation worse. However, Asante says conditions now are no different than during the pandemic. And they aren't the only ones dealing with this issue. So what we're facing right now are capacity and staffing challenges like any health system in Oregon and actually probably throughout the U.S. In recent weeks, Governor Kate Brown issued an executive order that gives hospitals the flexibility to make sure it has enough staff to meet the demand of patients. According to Asante, they requested 40 nurses for additional help. However, they've only gotten eight. Although that number will help, patients are still waiting hours for care, causing health care workers like Hicks to miss breaks, lunches, work more shifts, and feel overwhelmed. It's just exhausting. There's a delay in providing care to our patients because it's so overwhelming um, with the, the number of patients coming in and the lack of staffing that we have. Recently, Asante says some patients are going to the emergency room when they shouldn't be, causing long wait times. They say anyone with a medical emergency should not hesitate to go to the ER, but for those who need a test for flu or for COVID-19, they have other options. If families and caregivers can take those uh, tests or get those done at a different location rather than the emergency department, that would go a long way to kind of relieving some of the strain on our emergency departments and the wait times that people are experiencing.